And I'm ready to take a chance again Ready to put my love on the line with you Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Project Zomboid. Been quite a while since I sat down to play this, uh, so hopefully I'm not too extremely rusty. It seems like I'm back at my, uh, my humble abode, so that's good. I didn't, didn't do something to, uh, confuse myself upon starting up. I thought maybe that I had saved near the mall or something crazy like that. But no, that's not the case. I think our water is gonna run out relatively soon, which worries me just a little bit. But everything's gonna be fine, I'm super sure. Bananas, mmm. I would like to eat some of those not fresh bananas, but I'm worried that it'll uh, bring my boredom up a little more. Or my sadness, as the case may be. Luckily, yes, I can run. I can fucking run. We could do some stuff. I want to check my uh my rat traps. See how that's going. Nope, nothing. I guess it's all baited and whatnot too, or else there would be a, a thing there for that. Oh my. Look at this. Is this good? Young potatoes. They're still a little young. But they are flourishing. So that's going pretty well. I think uh, some more scouting is the thing to do today. I do have those uh, warehouses down there. I think I pretty much scouted all, all that I'm going to be able to scout from them. And I got to make sure the, the neighborhood's clean. Know what I mean? Maybe we could uh, get some stuff from these houses and fill up the rest of my... The rest of my fridges, although I can't really remember which houses I've scavenged completely and which ones I haven't. Gotta be careful of that window. I'll go ahead and close the curtains, I suppose, just so we can nip that in the bud. Yeah, it looks like I got most of this. Nothing gonna go bad in here. Some fresh garlic? Mmm! I like that a lot, but I don't need it currently. Celtic folklore, chemistry textbooks, fairy tales, first aid for beginners. Let's give this a read. It's early in the morning yet. <clears throat> I think, uh, yeah, it's going to be super slow. Super slow reading, super slow reading. That's all right. My guy know what's, knows what to do. Know what do. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. That's a thing. I should probably scavenge some more door hinges and things like that. Maybe make uh, some more fences or something. But I think my base is relatively enclosed. I don't need to worry too much about that. There it goes. A little bit of boredom and shit. Not good. I don't like. I'm really not going to like when the water goes off and things too. But we do have plenty of rain collectors built now. So that should be nice. Hey, bitch. Lay down, bitch. Lay down. Lay down! That's right! Hmm. Boredom and stress. It doesn't reduce sadness, but I will take the, the magazine. Just for funsies. And, uh, let's check out this house. I do hear some banging somewhere. Oh, there. Hello, friend. How you doing? Good? That's great. So happy to hear it. And I'll uh, scoop all this stuff out of here. Is it all gonna fit? I don't know. Fit whatever I can. And it seems like uh, there's a lot of stuff in there that's not going to go bad. Jars of everything. And then we've got tomato juice. Ooh. Mmm. I love a V8 in the morning. That'll keep you uh, nice and nice and skinny, nice and healthy. And I can't remember how full the fridges are, so I'm not looking forward to that. Hmm. Almost full in the doctor bag already. 
That's all right. Cleared this house. Oh. How'd this one get all burnt out? Was it already like this? I can hardly remember. Oh, and she thinks she's gonna be sneaky. Follow me into the burnt out house? I don't think so. Not today. Compass. Hmm. I did have a crumpus at one point. But I do believe that I, uh, misplaced it somewhere. Yeah, this place seems like it's all... All burnt out. Not a damn thing for me in here. That's a shame. Can I open this? I hear some nasties. Hello? There you are. What are you doing? So silly. You're so silly. Think you could sneak up on me? I guess that girl's dead already. Uh, let's open the window. Seems to be nothing in this bathroom, but... Oh shit. Please no. Okay. <laughs> Got me a little worried there. It does seem like the neighborhood is uh, slowly falling apart. Maybe just because I haven't been down this way. That could be why. Blip. That's right. Get them before they notice you. That's the secret. I will take your duct tape. Aluminum bat's not looking too hot. Should also check my skills. Three skill points available. Hmm. Could finish out that firearms bit. I'd really like to get my blunt accuracy up even more. Uh, obviously, I've not been focusing on blade anything, really. I did happen to get some blade maintenance, but that's just because, uh... I keep repairing the axe and things like that. I hear some banging around in here as well. Hello? I knew it. How did I know it? Because I have ears. Ears that work, because I'm not dead like you. I think I had nails in here. Yeah, okay. Goodly. Much goodliness. Anybody in here? Should probably finish checking the house before I start shopping for shit. Alright. Here's a good amount of stuff. Shove that in the bag. Get in the flask! Everybody get in the flask! That's a big old pumpkin. One pound of pumpkins. And I do have lots of soda and things. Which I guess might get rid of sadness. I can't remember how to get rid of sadness. If I'm to be completely honest. Let me eat that pumpkin. That's gonna be good. That's also gonna clear uh, a bit of space in my bag. Might be able to clear one more fridge. Oh, there's that fridge that's uh up in the bank that's across the street from my house. That might be a good thing to go check upon. Hey, buddy. Lay down. There you go, friend. Ah. So good. I just love killing zombies. Blech. Get him. Piece of cake, man. Piece of cake. I'll go ahead and take the duct tape. I keep thinking I can fit more things into the doctor bag, but that's uh, not the case, it seems. And I'm pretty sure I checked these houses out. Check them out, yes. Uh, did I clear the stuff out? No. So I will need to come back down here. But first I want to start on the, uh, the little bitty over there. That's right, I walled all of this off. What good foresight I had. There's the bank. We'll go ahead and uh, venture inside. Need to be careful because there are no doors. At least on that side anymore. I remember the, the fridge is upstairs. I'll try not to drink from the, the water containers just because that's a bad idea. You want to save those for later. I do think. There it is. Hello. Hello, hello. Let's see how much I could fit in here. Not much. 
That's okay. I'll take some of this, some of that. Some tofu. Oh, that's good. Watermelon slices. Yeah. Don't know if I should do that. A little bit of butter. Mmm, good. Let's eat the cake. I will eat the cake. Yay, the sadness is gone. Fuck yeah. And we can't fit anything else unless it weighs 0.1. But uh, that's not really worth it. We'll go ahead and run all this back home. Shove it in the in the fridges. And then if my fridges are super full, I guess I guess that'll be it as far as food runs. But uh, I have been eating from the fridges just a little bit. So I don't know. I don't know what we could fit in here. Leek, lemon, lime. Keep the soda. Oh shit. We could put some more stuff in there as long as it's tiny stuff. 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.1. Sweet potato. And that's about all we can fit, I do think. At least in that one. This one's got a little more in it. Pork chop, mutton chop. Can I get milk in there? Put the milk away. That's good. Tofu, I guess, does need to be refrigerated. And then zucchini might be too heavy. Grapes, that'll fill it out. Freezer's full, freezer's full. Oh, all those fucking broccolis. Wow. And only a little bit of room in here. I guess we did pretty good as far as, uh, oh shit, that bread is rotten. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. I will throw it away somewhere. Not good. Not good. Not good. I got some eggplant. Put that. And, uh, zucchinis. Might be too heavy. Nope. That'll fill it out perfectly. Dang. And the freezers are all full. So I've got to run around with the rest of this shit, I suppose. Well, I could put the, uh, the preserve things away. Jar of salsa? Is that gonna go bad? I think you only have to refrigerate after opening. Is that how that works? I'm not sure. I don't know anything anymore. I'll just shove as much shit in here as I can. Sodas. Mmm. A little bit of pie. Mmm. More soda. We need to save the soda for unhappiness. I don't want to be unhappy. Don't you see? Sprinkly donut. Mmm. I just don't know. It's hard to make the call. Hmm. Blueberry popsicles. Popsicles, oh yeah. Oh, there's more jars of shit. Shove them in there. Lemon lime soda, pineapple soda, cherry soda, grapefruit soda. I got a full supermarket of sodas. Just waiting. Just waiting to be drunken. I'm gonna fill this up pretty quick, I think. Barbecue sauce don't go bad. Put that in there. <clears throat> More duct tape. How did I not put the grapefruit soda in there? Chardonnay. Oh, fancy. Y'all fancy, huh? I need a little drink. Okay. Let's read a little more first aid for beginners. I got some time now. I did some sorting. Can't you see? Cherries, carrots, hmm. I guess I'll bring this shit with me. I should probably cook the uh, mutton chop, the salmon, and the steak though. And that'll help get my cooking up as well. Getting bored, hmm. Fine, fine. Oh my. Why would I put this in the oven? <laughs> That's not a good idea, Dayton. Are you crazy? Yes, I am. How did you know? Okay. Oh, everything around it is full. See, that's what happens when you uh take too long of a break. Come back and you go, holy shit, everything's different. Well, no, it's not different at all. It's exactly the way you left it, Dayton. Okay. 
That should do for now. Put some cola. Salsa. I'm scared this is going to go bad, but we'll see. This is my experiment. I shall experiment. Salmon, steak, mutton chop. Should I do the herring? Oh wow, that's a lot of mutton chops. We're going to be fed, I'll tell you what, boy. Alright, turn it on. And uh, speed the time up just a little bit. Cooking. The herring's going to go first. Good. Everything is going quite well. Grab it. Is it cooked? Yeah. It's cooked. Doesn't do much for my unhappiness, though. The steak and the mutton chops are going to cook at about exactly the same time. C grab it. Grab it. And then uh, we got that... Oh, shit. I heard a tapping. I don't like that. Don't tap on my fucking doors. I live here. Make sure to turn the oven off. And, uh... Yeah, it seems that all this is going to make me fucking unhappy. I don't like it. I guess I could make a, a burger. If I could find some bread. Did I put bread somewhere in here? I know I did. There we are. <clears throat> Slice that bread up. Um, and where did it go? Probably in my main inventory. Let's make a burger. Wow, I've got all this shit? Okay. Well, that'll do just fine. Herring burger. Mutton burger. We're gonna have so many burgers. Won't be able to stand it. I guess I'll make another one. I have enough for even one more. Hmm. Put some herring on the, the mutton burger. That's kind of gross. Whatever. <laughs> I got a jar of salsa, too. I am creating just a disgusting creation. <laughs> I don't think anybody's gonna like this. But alright, at least it reduces boredom and unhappiness. There we go. Eat that right up. Um, nom nom. Oh, and I'm too full now. We'll put some lettuce on that. Lettuce on this. Hopefully my cooking skill is going up. I'm not 100% sure. Good. We're doing a wonderful thing. Bell peppers? Ooh, that's nice. We'll just add everything that we can all together. Add as a spice. Please do. Yes. Spice it up. Spice it out. And I guess this is uh, as good as it's going to get. So that's fine. Eat the rest of this. Minus eight hunger. Whatever. Good enough. Let's see if I can put this somewheres. Anywheres. Hello. There, that's fine. I know I said refrigerate after opening, but whatever. Ain't no big deal. Fill up my bottle. Probably can go uh for just one more little little expedition. And hopefully I won't end up having to sleep somewhere outside. I would like to check my fishing traps just to see uh if we caught something, if they're breaking. I know I can craft them if I get some, some wire together. Let's see. Cooking skill. Yes. Level that up. Up and up and up. And my first aid skill still really sucks. <laughs> I should scavenge these houses maybe, but... um, Yeah, my fridges are full. What do I really need? Books, I guess. Tool things. Nails. Wire. A new fishing line would be really nice, but, uh, yeah, I could just restring the old one if I could figure that out. 
It's been a long time since I tried that, I do think. And uh, I don't think that... <laughs> I don't think time is going to make me more successful, unfortunately. Ah, fishing traps. Hello, hello. Yeah, little bait fish. Guess it's been just a minute since I checked these as well because we are getting seven from each of them now. Very nice. Or at least seven from the final, or the first one. I'll take it. I don't give a shit. That'll do just fine. 7 p.m. now. Hmm. Might want to go read the first aid book until bed bedtime. But I know there's so many fucking houses. And as long as I don't get uh, bit by a zombie, it might be a good idea to explore some of them. Hey, you. That's right. And I'm ready to take a chance again. Ready to put my love on the line with you. Oh. I guess I went a little nuts out here with the gun. You can usually tell because there are lots of zombies. Prosthetic leg. <laughs> I could get a third leg. Shove it in my pants. Really impress this girl. That's right. Or send her screaming into the night. I don't know. Is she a size queen? Looks like a size queen to me, bro. You can never really tell. <clears throat> oh, shit. Got that moderate exertion now. There's the uh, auto repair shop. I do think. Oh, the pharma hug. Hmm. I could surely do with some uh, pharmacy things. Although, yeah, it doesn't really go bad. None of this stuff is really a uh, pressing matter. Because it's not going to go bad anytime soon. Suture needle, vitamins. I'll take some vitamins. That's what we need. Get rid of our depression. Tongue depressor. <laughs> what the fuck? What do I need this for? Antidepressants. Hmm. Yeah, this is a really, really good place. I'm so glad to have it near my house. I'm so glad there was no zombie out there as well. <laughs> There's spiffos. Yeah, gotta head home. Seems like a relatively productive day. Perhaps I should set out somewhere <clears throat> adventurous. I would like to go to the mall again. See uh, how it is inside. But I'll need to get some uh, some preparations done. If I am indeed going to do that. Gotta make some spiked baseball bats and shit like that. And I do have a relatively large amount of bats. So who knows? We could. We could indeed. I also want to finish uh, reading this this book. I love my book. That's what I'm going to do before bed. That should make me nice and tired. And hopefully it won't take too friggin' long. Yeah, drowsy. Just a little drowsy. Is somebody beating on my door? Is it my heart beating? <sighs> Makes me so nervous. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. That's what Zomboid does to you. It just makes you, uh, not sure of anything anymore. Anyways, friends, I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I sincerely hope that you've enjoyed this episode, and if you have, I hope that you will like, comment, and or subscribe. And if you do, friends, I'll send you a Red Bull, the 20-ounce one. Then you can stay up all night with me. <laughs> just kidding, I know you want to go to bed. So do I. But I'll see you tomorrow. I hope you'll join me for it. Until the next time, friends. Bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye. See you again. Goodbye, goodbye. See you, my friend.